I'm Celia Fuchiel, Artistic Director of Smuan Contemporary Ballet. I thought this was a great time to revive Dream, especially given the other repertoire. What's really fun in watching these three couples learning the same choreography is how it looks different on each pair of bodies and also how they may play with the musicality and how they may feel it. Just what they're thinking in their head will change what they're feeling and showing on their face. And so all of that makes each couple approach it in a slightly different way and, and there are three beautiful interpretations. It was really a great challenge to have the dancers focus on something that was slower and lyrical and sustained and romantic. Um, and it's really been a great opportunity for these three couples to have a chance to work on that. Some things I've learned about Michael Smuin, um, having done a couple of his pieces, um, is that uh, his musicality really is the driving force behind his movement. And I think as a dancer who also loves to interpret the music into movement, um, that just, it makes sense. It feels organic. It feels like the steps that he's created just make the most sense. It's like a, a really nice sentence that you're listening to. Um, so I've come to really appreciate his artistry and appreciation for music. I have to agree because sometimes we catch ourselves doing some movements in the piece and sometimes Sally will say, oh, this is very Michael Smuey. So he has his marks on some steps or in some choreographers in general. And Dream, Padade, really is a Michael Smuey piece. <laughs> I think the main thing that I've also learned about Michael through his movement is his musicality. And it's really interesting because sometimes you don't always hear what it is, but then once you hear it or once you understand the movement with the music, you you realize, ah, he, he had a vision with that one. So it's, it's really fun to feel that. During this rehearsal process, we've had the great pleasure of working with our artistic director, Celia. It's great to have her in the studio because this ballet was choreographed on her. And so since she was in the room and it was made for her, she's able to offer us little stories and little anecdotes that will help us all make it our own and that even though the audience may not see it, they will be experiencing something special between every couple. The pas de deux starts off with a female solo, which is very still, and, and there's moments of the woman running around the stage looking for her partner, and Celia lends a lot of nuance to the character, and it really lends to the storytelling aspect. Celia is so great with that. I hope that the audience will take away from this is just the joy of romance and the sweetness of love. When somebody loves and supports you and that you share that together and that you're in it together, Michael's pas de deux were just so romantic. And to see this danced again I hope that's what the audience will take away, is, is, is the joy of, of love and romance and um, the, the quiet confidence of that. <laughs>